welcome friends now we are going to discuss important multiple choice questions on population and sampling in uh, statistics so let us start with first question it says statistics is the science of collection presentation analysis and dash of data and here options are use selection merger and interpretation see friends statistic is the science of collection presentation analysis and interpretation of data so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says total number of items or elements under study is called dash in statistics and here options are sample population analysis and presentation so see friends total number of items or elements under study is called basically population in statistics so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question uh, ask us about the statement that statistical thinking will one day be necessary for effective citizenship as the ability to read and write this statement is made by and here options are adam smith webster h g wells alfred marshalls see friends this statement statistical thinking will one day be necessary for effective citizen c as the ability to read and write is made by h g wells so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says the list of all elements of population is called see friends we have discussed about the term population so population is basically the total of observation under study or total number of observation under study is called uh, population in statistic now the list of all elements of population uh, is called and here options are sample sampling frame sampling unit sampling number see friends the list of all elements of population is basically called sampling frame here so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says a small part or quantity of large number of items is called see the small part or quantity of large number of items is called and here options are population sample unit and none of this see friends we have already discussed about the term population that is population is basically the total number of observations under study and second option that is sample so we know that sample is nothing but the part of large number of items even in our day to day life we use this sampling te technique to uh, check the quality of grains we take handful of the grain inspect it or check it and then decide about the whole uh, uh, quality of whole that uh, sack of the grains right so uh, for this question a small part or quantity of large number of items is called sample so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says when information of each and every item of population is collected it is called dash method see friends statement says when information of each and every item of population is collected it means uh, in question number 5 we discussed that sample is basically we uh, inspect or check uh, part of large number of items or small quantity of large number of items like i have take a given example of food grains to check the quality of grains we take handful of the grain and decides about the quality of whole sacks but say question number six says when information of each and every item of population is collected so in uh, in case of uh, sack of grains the full sack of grains is considered as the population and in sampling method we check only handful of the grains but in census uh, census method we have to check each and every uh, grain separately right so this uh, answer for this question number 6 that is when information of each and every item of population is collected it is basically known as census method right so here option d is the right answer yeah, this uh, we are familiar with this word because uh, in india after every 10 years uh, general census is conducted by the government where uh, uh, information about each and every citizen of the uh, country is taken right so basically for this question information when information of each and every item of population is collected it is census and when information about the uh, small part or quantity is collected it is sampling method right right so for question number six option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says when each element of population is selected randomly it is called and here options are simple random sampling stratified random sampling purposive sampling and systematic sampling see friends statement says 
when each element of population is selected randomly so when selection in random it is basically simple random sampling so here option a is the right answer let us move on the next question and it asks us about the what is the meaning of s r s w r see friends this is uh, basically the extension of simple random sampling method now let us see what are the options and then we will discuss about this here options are simple random sampling next is simple random sampling without replacement option c is simple random sampling with replacement and option d stratified random sampling with replacement see friends uh, s r s w r is basically simple random sampling with replacement right so here option c is the right answer and when uh, uh, we include word o after w that is simple yes r yes w o r it is simple random sampling without replacement right we are going to discuss a uh, question related to these terms uh, okay now so let us move on the next questions and it says in dash method first element of population is selected ram randomly it is recorded and studied and again included in population see friends read this statement carefully the statement says in this method first element of population is selected randomly so first we select any element of population randomly then it is recorded studied and again it is included in the population so for the question ask about the method which is this method and here options are systematic sampling sim simple uh, random sampling with replacement simple random sampling without replacement see as this statement says uh, selected randomly it is recorded and studied and again included in the population it means we replace the uh, that item again so basically this method is simple random sampling with replacement with replacement means we study record and again it is replaced in the population again it is included in the population right so this method is known as simple random sampling with replacement and when we uh, don't replace it becomes simple random sampling without replacement right so for question number 9 simple random sampling with replacement is the method where first element of population is selected ram randomly it is recorded and studied and again it is included in the population so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says in dash method same element of population may get selected two or more times so this uh, question ask about the method where the there are chances that same element of population can be get selected for more than two times so here in question number 9 we discuss that in simple random sampling with replacement we study record and again it is in included so there is chance that in next uh, time it uh, again that uh, item can be get selected right so here basically answer to question number 10 is that simple random sampling with replacement so here again option b is the right answer in this method that is in simple random sampling with replacement uh, in this method there are chances that same element may get selected for two or more times let us move on the next question and next question says in dash method total statistical population decreases after selection of each unit and here options are simple random sampling started by random sampling simple random sampling with replacement simple random sampling without replacement see friends the statement says in this method total statistical population decreases after selection of each unit and this app happens in case of simple random sampling without replacement so here option d is the right answer because see in simple random sampling without replacement uh, we select study the element of the population and uh, it is keep aside it means it is not included in the population again right so because of that for next uh, uh, sampling the total population get reduce it means total population is decrease after uh, selection of every unit this happens in case of simple random sampling without replacement so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says which of the following is not the method of sampling and here options are simple random sampling stratified random sampling deliberate selection and systematic sampling see friends 
deliberate selection it is not the method of sampling so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and it says simple random sampling is useful when population is and here options are very large homogeneous very small and heterogeneous see friends simple random sampling is useful when population is homogeneous only so here option b is the right answer it means if population is of the same kind in that case simple random sampling is useful let us move on the next question and it says if population is not homogeneous dash method can be used to collect data see if population is not homogeneous means the uh, observations of the populations are not identical they are not same they are uh, they, uh, they have variations like if uh, we are studying the uh, habits of people uh, residing in the village so that village includes all kind of people that is there the village may include children women and uh, teenagers then uh, married people and then uh, uh, senior citizens okay so in that population uh, all persons are not of the same kind so that population is considered as heterogeneous or uh, which is not homogeneous in that case uh, we cannot uh, take a sample by simple random sampling method so in this case uh, we can use stratify ram random sampling it means in this method groups are made like for children so we will make the group of children then we for women we will make the group of women then for teenagers and for senior citizens like that and from each unit we will take the sample so or each from each group so that group is basically known as strata in statistic so in uh, if population is not homogeneous stratify strat stratified random sampling uh, method can be used so here option c is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says stratify random sampling method divides population in number of dash groups which are called strata so as we have discussed that stratify random sampling method divides population in number of homogeneous groups which are called strata so here option d is the right answer homogeneous groups means uh, all observations or all elements in that group are same nature let us take that example uh, which we discussed in previous question that if we have to study the uh, uh, study about the population of a village so in that village there are children teenagers women married men then there, there can be a senior citizens there can be widows widows like like this okay so if uh, uh, we uh, we have to study the population properly then simple random sampling method is not useful in that case stratify random sampling method can be used this stratify random sampling method makes group of homogeneous people homogeneous people uh, the the under stratify random sampling we can make a group of all children in that village we can make a group of all senior senior citizens in that village like this okay so basically stratify random sampling method divides population in number of homogeneous groups which are called strata so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says which of the following sampling method is suitable to select 20 students from class 1 to 10 friends we have discussed about the various sampling method that is simple random sampling method simple random sampling uh, with replacement simple random sampling without replacement stratified by random sampling so here we have to uh, say uh, state which method is suitable in this situation situation is that uh, where there are uh, 10 class the class 1 to 10 and we have to select 20 students so in that case if we uh, select a student randomly that is with simple random sampling then we we may uh, have students from same class right if there are class 1 to 10 so uh, students of uh, class or standard 1 are small and students of class 10 are uh, big as compared to the other standards okay so in this uh, this case uh, which is the suitable sampling method so here we can logically say that in this situation stratified random sampling this method is suitable because see we can uh, select a uh, uh, student 
uh, two students from each class randomly right from class uh, from standard one two from standard two uh, again two from standard 10 again two like this okay so so that we will have 20 students okay so basically to select 20 students from class 1 to 10 a uh, statify random sampling method is suitable so here option d is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question asks us uh, to state whether the following statement is true or false and first statement is non random sampling method is scientific method of data collection see friends non random sampling means we select uh, 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 items uh, uh, by studying or by observing them without uh, uh, having randomness so this is basically not the scientific method it is it um, this method can be biased okay because the selection depends on the view of the uh, selector so basically non-random sampling method is a scientific method it is not scientific it is unscientific so this statement is false so here option b is the right answer next question says Census method of data collection is expensive and time consuming. Yes, friends, we have discussed about this method. In census method, we study each and every observation under the study. Okay, under uh, a population, we have to study each and every observation and record it. So, census method is expensive and time consuming. This statement is true. So, here option A is the right answer. Let us move on the next question and it says if each unit of population has an equal chance of selection the uh, selection the sample is called see if each and uh, every unit of population has an equal chance it is basically simple random sampling so here option b is the right answer let us move on the next question and next question says dash method for data collection is more reliable and here options are sampling simple random sampling with replacement census simple random sampling without it see friends Again, census method for data collection is more reliable, but it is time consuming and some uh, in some situation it is impractical. Like suppose if uh, we have to check the quality of the sack of grain, then it is not possible or it is not uh, um, uh, what I can say. It is not uh, the worthy to check each and every uh, grain separately so we can take the sample and uh, we can uh, uh, we can take conclusion about the quality of the whole set right so basically uh, census method is more reliable but it is not practical in uh, every situation like in the example of proof rate. or even if we, if uh, we want to check the blood of the person then it is not uh, practical to check the whole blood so in that case also we take a small quantity for uh, the purpose of uh, testing okay so because of this uh, census method is not practical in some situation but uh, for question number 20 census method for data collection is more reliable so here option c is the right answer here friends i would like to stop now if you have any question related to this topic please let me know in the comment section i will give uh, answer of your questions and make sure that you have subscribed the channel like the like this video and share this with your friends thank you thanks for